everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. It's good to see you, and to see you good, as the comic once said. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about traveling in the Ukraine, in Ukraine, uh, during wartime. And with us, we have Patrick Patterson on the line from Kiev, and Anthony uh, McFarlane Gonzalez on the line from beautiful downtown Bidgosh, in his, uh, where he's in his skyscraping lair overlooking a uh, beautiful old town. Are you in the belfry of the church today, maybe? Yeah. I would. That'd be nice. <laughs> It'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's a nice church. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, Patrick, welcome to the show. Welcome, uh, Thank you. Anthony. It's good to see you. Um, and if I call you Tony from time to time, please don't, uh, don't write in. He sends me a lot of letters, Patrick, himself. He sends letters saying, don't call me Tony when I do it. Actual letters. Letters he sent. He does it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy. So, Patrick, you've been traveling from east to west. Uh, what's it like these days? Um, it's just, it's, uh, it's long. Uh, so, uh, you know, starting out from the central train station in Kiev, uh, going to Ivano Frankivsk. Uh, um, you go through the metal detectors, you get on the train, you get situated. Uh, I, I was fortunate on my last trip just to have a uh, two compartment car by myself. So uh, it was kind of like this Ukrainian rail car suite. Uh, the, uh, the porter comes to the car and it's tradition in Ukraine to, uh, to either have uh, tea or coffee uh, on the train. And I guess uh, previously, a long time ago, the uh, the tea and coffee um, uh, canisters or the the or, were more ornate. But at any rate, you know the the Ukrainian woman comes to the car and she knocks on my door and and, and Ukrainian speaks to me and uh, in this very broken Ukrainian English response, she just smiles and she returns with uh, uh, my chai, my my tea. Uh, uh, we roll through Bucha and Irpin. Um, so leaving leaving Kiev, you can still see some of the destruction that happened uh, over a year ago. Um, and then hopefully if you're able to sleep, you wake up and you start seeing uh, these beautiful green open fields and starting to come into the Carpathian mountain range. Um, so it's, uh, depending on the route you take, it's between a 10 and 12 hour train journey 10 and 12 10 or 12 hours train journey what do you eat during this time is there a, is there a place a, a, a dining car or is this going too far do you buy bread at this at, the, as the, you stop the finest, the finest dining car uh from new york city right they had the bar car going to connecticut and the and the and the trains there uh no um on this journey i had um uh nuts that i got at the the grocery store um, I had some bread, and uh, I had uh, two 20-ounce um, plastic containers of uh, stout from a local craft brewery in Kiev, um, and that's that was my that was my uh, that was my wagon my wagon uh, swag that I had mm -hmm. on the way there. So sounds no, good. There, there's no food car. It sounds good. Andy, you've been traveling as well in the in, in Ukraine uh, during the war, but how have you been traveling? By car or? By car, yeah. yeah. I, I travel by train. You know, we went to go inspect the trains to see for potential patient transportation, but no, definitely just by car. Yeah, and what's the what's the travel by car like? It really depends on what road. I mean, most of the M like the major roads, like the M113 or the M110 or the M109s, they're really okay i mean yeah granted you still have to go through some of the checkpoints but the country roads if you really need to get somewhere in a dash yeah your car better be an off-road vehicle or you better be really good at avoiding potholes because some of those potholes and some of those Ukrainian roads are really not taken care of on the country ones you you, you know so so I, i've got to i've got to so uh going from kiev to kiev rig um you get on this highway and it's the most beautiful highway. And, and every Ukrainian will say, oh, it's like we're in Germany. 
And I don't know why they compare it to German roads, but I've got to stop you. I've got to stop you there. Let's come back tomorrow night on the next episode, and we'll start with the uh, because you're you're both back on tomorrow night's episode. Yes. Uh, and we'll start with the beautiful. Uh, that was a nice teaser because now I want to hear all about it. And uh, so we'll we'll spend a, a we'll, we'll open the next show about the beautiful drive that you were just describing. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching Poland Daily Travel. We'll see you tomorrow night.